For the first time, we're hearing from LeBron James about the death of Kobe Bryant. He posted this photo on Instagram late last night and wrote a whole lot, starting off with, I'm not ready, but here I go. He writes he can't stop crying, that they just spoke Sunday morning, that he never thought that would be the last time he heard Kobe's voice, and he vows to continue Kobe's legacy. Something else you're probably going to see online today is the hashtag girl dad. And it comes from this story from ESPN's Elle Duncan. I'm tearing up because I know what's coming. It's powerful. Grab a tissue. Uh, she met Kobe once uh, when he and his wife Vanessa had three girls. Here's what he said about the potential of having a fourth. He said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad. Shout out to all the girl dads out there. Um, UConn paid tribute to Gigi, also called Mambasita, putting her jersey out and tweeting, Mambasita is forever a Husky. I also want to talk about this photo that we saw from a, a local team being at a tournament where Kobe and Gigi were headed moments after everyone, including that Houston team out of Cypher, got the news that their helicopter went down. They say everybody just dropped to their knees in prayer. They couldn't believe it because they were sitting there waiting for, for Kobe to arrive, and they got this news instead. You, you know what I really, it, it just, to me, Kobe was arguably one of the best to ever play basketball, but you notice a lot of people aren't talking about that. They're talking about him as a father or, or oh, yeah. the things he did as, as a philanthropist, and I think that is what, it, it just speaks volumes of who he was as a person. Well, and Make-A-Wish came out and said he granted 200 wishes. That's he incredible. is one of their most prolific wish granters. And I just think that's that's amazing and should be remembered as well. I, I'm struggling with how to say this on TV, but thinking about we none of us get to choose how we go. Yeah. But in the final moments uh, of what happened, I'm hoping that maybe he just got a second to hold his daughter's hand that he was there with her. You know, yeah. you think of that as a parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh